Today we're going to simulate killing the dinosaurs by dropping the Chicxulub asteroid on a simulation of Earth from 65 million years ago. Hopefully this will give us a clue as to what it actually looked like to see this event. The asteroid that killed the dinosaurs is called the Chicxulub asteroid and if you google it you'll get a fancy asteroid to fly across your screen. Scientists have a pretty good estimate on how big and how fast it was going so this will make it easy to simulate. I spent a few minutes in Universe Sandbox with the planetscaping tool and created something I'm pretty proud of, Pangaea, the supercontinent. This is what Pangaea actually looked like, and this is my version. Anyways, we're going to replace current Earth with this version, and then we can get started. Alright, so here it is. We slow down time here. So it hit somewhere around here. So if we go add and then go to minor. Here, we can click random asteroid and then click launch so we can just start with an asteroid and then we can change it so it was like about here because this is gonna be around the Mexico area so let's do right here now we're gonna take this asteroid here and we're going to rename it to Chicxulub so according to the internet it was about 10 kilometers wide so we switch this to 10 kilometers and it had a speed of about 30 kilometers per second so it's going about 10 times faster than it's currently going. So it is going. So if we speed up time till this gets a little bit closer. So it may look small, but this thing is going very, very fast. It's going 150 times faster than a jet airliner would go. So this is almost real time and you can see it's still moving towards the earth. So this is insanely fast. So it looks like it is going to hit the water, which should cause tsunamis to go on the surface and scientists Think that actually did happen so let's do when it hits we're gonna go to real time okay here it comes okay this is now in real time watch it hit under the atmosphere okay and boom so it's starting to make this molten rock area and it's shooting out a bunch of little fragments of rock. I'm interested to see. So this is real time. So it's only been a few seconds and this is what it's done. I'm going to start to speed it up a little bit and you can see giant ripples of water are happening. So it's flooding. It's creating giant tsunamis that are flooding across the surface and all of these fragments are being shot off and they're hitting again and that's what's causing all of this so just this little impact here is creating things that are hitting almost like very far a thousand of miles like a thousand miles away and it shot off a ton of fragments into space so it may not have looked that big but it's definitely causing a lot of damage for speed up time some more you can see it's created holes in the atmosphere from all the heat so if we actually land, we can see there's a giant hole in the atmosphere right here. We can go about here. So if we look up, there's a hole right here that just goes into the into space because this heat is so strong. Look, it's created on the opposite side of the world. There's been impacts. This is insane. Let's unpause and see what happens now. OK, so there's going to be an underwater crater here. You can't see it super well on here, but any life has been severely disrupted. You can look on this map and still see that there are spots that are still very hot after days. It's been a few days now. But this still is habitable and that's why the, there's still life today. But what this would do is cause a lot of atmospheric disruption so it would make it a lot harder for life to survive. But that's not going to be the end of it. We're going to see what if the Chicxulub asteroid was a hundred times as big. So we're going to launch it in the same spot. And instead of 10 kilometers wide, we're going to do a hundred kilometers wide Then also make it twice as fast. So this is going to do a lot of damage, 60 kilometers per second. This is definitely going to do a lot more damage. This is our in real time already. We need to speed it up a little bit. Okay, here it comes. We're going to once again, go to real time as it impacts. It'll go through the atmosphere and then into the water. Boom, just like that, the heat's already created a hole in the atmosphere. Spreading very, very quickly. Just the shockwave itself has traveled very, very far in just a couple seconds. You can see it's pushing this water up. The shockwave is so strong, it like 
pushes the water all out. So if the asteroid had actually been this big, it could have made all life on Earth go extinct. We'll speed it up a little more and we can see it's created a bunch more fragments that are shooting all around the globe. And this one left a lot of dead areas and a lot of heat too. The hottest right now is 2400 degrees Celsius. So if we see how this recovers over time, this would not recover well. There's lots of damage. This would take a long time for life to be able to continue normally after this. Okay, so now let's launch the Chicxulub asteroid at it at the speed of light and see what happens. Okay, we're gonna make it the same size as the original Chicxulub asteroid, but we're gonna make the speed the speed of light. So this is gonna go very, very quickly. Okay, so now it's aimed right. And if we slow it down some more. So we have to actually go slower than real time here. This is only 15 milliseconds per second because light speed is so fast. So not even in real time and it's gonna hit. We'll see what happens. This is slower than real time. Oh. Okay, it's exploding. My game is completely frozen. Oh boy, did we crash the game? Oh, okay, okay. Um, I kind of have control now. What is this? Venus. This is not where we were. Zoom out here. It won't let me turn up the speed anymore because there's so many fragments being made. So it just all dissipated. That's it. That's the end of Earth. So if the Chicxulub asteroid hit us at the speed of light, it would have annihilated the entire Earth. So it's a good thing that didn't happen. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna see more content like this, please leave a like as it really helps out the channel. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.